when I found out that I was playing the lead, um, I was I was a little scared because it's my first time uh, leading a show like this in college, and it being a Susan Laurie Park show, I, I wanted to make sure that I did it justice because Susan Susan Laurie Parks' work is just amazing. Um, so I was just kind of like feeling all of that pressure, um, along with the fact that this show is very heavy uh, content-wise. But all in all, I was I was excited to take on the role, and I knew that it was what I needed to to properly challenge myself. I think one of the biggest challenges that I had was being able to. Um, step in to the role of a mother um, and I did a lot of research about that because I know that there's so much like emotional connection to your children because you go through so many things before the child's even born. Finding the balance between like properly disciplining my kids um, and then also making sure that it's it's uh, it's read that I still love them a lot because a lot of the times in rehearsal I would get a little yelly um, and to me, I still felt like I adored my children and I was just disciplining them, but it came across as something else. So being able to find the balance between like showing that I want my kids to do the best and I want them to learn from me, et cetera, et cetera, um, and finding that balance with the fact that I love them very much was, was kind of a challenge. Um, but once I figured it out, it, it just felt, it felt very right. Everything that Hester is doing in the play is for her children because those are her treasures, those are her joys, those are her prized possessions. I think Hester has a lot going against her in society. Um, you know, blank, being homeless, being a woman of color, having five children with five different fathers, not being able to read, not being able to write. So all of those things are also going against her at the same time, but she's trying so hard to be um, to be there for her kids and give them the best life that she possibly can, but that doesn't always work out for her. There's a moment in the scene with welfare where welfare kind of says, we put you in school, we put you, we put you in a job, but you keep quitting these things. We're trying to help you, let us help you. And Hester uh, responds with, I don't like the shelter. They hassle me, they are stealing my stuff, they're always touching my kids, et cetera, et cetera. And so while those things are there to help, they're not helping in Hester's case. One of the biggest reasons that I do theater is to provide, to provide someone to take a look into another person that is not like them, um, because we don't always get to see that, especially, um, especially if you have privilege, you know, you're not, you're not going to be interacting with people that are struggling the most quite often. It lets people kind of like look into that and look into who Hester is as a person. And I think that this, doing this play is relevant right now because if there's anything that we need as a nation, it's, it's more empathy. Um, and I think that doing work like this, especially with characters that are so vulnerable and that you can just step into and kind of discover their world is very important right now. Please come see the show. Prepare to be hit with a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, some of it's a little explicit, of course. I would just come in with as open and clear of a mind as possible. It's a lot, but I think that it will open your eyes about a multitude of things that our world and our society should be looking at closer, and we need more empathy in our world. So.